Hey there YouTube, Pure Carbon here, and today I will be showing you how to make a screw in 123D design. I'm assuming that if you're watching this video you've already downloaded the software, but if not I will provide a download link in the description. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in 123D design, and we are going to start by taking a rectangle and placing it right in the middle. This is just a sketch, and we'll be making quite a few of these that will stack up on top of each other. So, let's see, I'm going, I'm probably going to make this one 80, 80 by 5, and I'll place that one down, alright, next we are going to make another one, place in the exact same spot, same size and everything, 80 by 5, place that down, Next, we are going to click on it, and we are going to move it. So, you first have to move it up, and when you move it up, yet the distance in between the two sketches will be the distance that you want your screw to be. So, I'm probably going to just do uh, two millimeters. There you go. See, it's two millimeters above the first sketch and then we are going to rotate it. I'm probably going to do it 20 degrees. Alright, just like that. Next we're going to use a tool called Loft, which is where you select two sketches and it creates a three object just like that. Okay. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and I am going to export that section. So um, I'm just going to call it CR screw. Screw 2 because I already have a file called screw so I'm going to click save and then we're going to go up here and go to insert and we'll open this up, go to browse your computer and we're going to select the file that we just made okay so we've imported it now what we're going to do is we're going to select it and we're going to move it because it's two millimeters high we're going to move it four millimeters but not that way. <laughs> Four millimeters up. There we go. Four millimeters. And now we have an object, two objects right on top of each other. Actually, I made a mistake. It should be two. There we go. Now they're directly above each other. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. First, we rotate it 20 degrees this time. Maybe we can. Rotate it 20. Hold on. Negative 20. There we go. See? Now it looks just like that. Perfect. Okay. So now we are going to combine them. So go to merge. Click the two solids. And now they are one solid piece. Now I'm going to skip ahead and uh, I will come back when those when I've made one full revolution round which shouldn't take too long okay so as you can see here I have uh, completed one or half a revolution it goes or the original section is flipped all the way around and now we are going to export this section and then re-import it so we're going to call it Rev for Revolution. Alright. And we are going to go to Insert. And we are going to select Rev. Now we can move this. And it's 160, or it's 16 millimeters high, so we can move that up. 16 millimeters. 
or maybe it's 18. Um, 18 millimeters. We'll try that. There we go. See now you have this nice spiral pattern, and you want to keep just keep doing that until you have like the number of uh, threads that are on your screw. All right, so I'm going to do that uh, several times, and then I will come back when that is done. All right. Okay, so I've added quite a few more pieces that are the same. And it is 108 millimeters high. So the next step will be to add a cylinder. And we're going to do that off to the side so that it does not affect it at all. Alright. So I think I'm going to set it right there. Place it down. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me redo that. I didn't give the size. So the radius, I'm thinking uh, 35. Because if it's 80, 80 millimeters across, then uh, we want it to be slightly smaller. So and the height will be the same height as your screw. So 108 millimeters. And I will place that down. Why isn't it 108? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We can adjust it later. Alright. So now we're going to move it over. So that it goes inside. And tell it so that it evenly covers all the sides. So it's like directly in the center. Now you can start to see the threads of the screw start to appear. Now you can make the center cylinder bigger or smaller depending on how big or how long you want your threads to be. So right now I have to fix the uh, I have to fix the um, the cylinder because for some reason it chose not to be 108. So press or pull. We are just going to go up until. It is there. All right, perfect. Now they are the same height. And then to finish it up, just go and click merge. Now you have one solid screw. And if you want to make this even longer, you can export this section and then re-import it and place it on top of it itself and then it just slowly gets stacked up higher all right so as a bonus you know what i'm going to do next i am going to show you guys how to uh, make the threaded hole for a screw okay so in this part i'm going to show you how to make a threaded hole using the screw that we had just created so first off you're going to need a box Actually, no, not a box. I'm going to delete that. We are going to need to measure how high this thing is, because I actually don't know. I thought it was 108. I was apparently wrong. So we are going to measure the height. We're going to do this by clicking on the top and the bottom. And the distance, it's 126 millimeters. Sweet. Ooh. All right. So we are going to take a box, it has to be bigger than the screw itself. So I'm going to place it right there, and we are going to make it, first of all, the height needs to be 126 millimeters high, um, well, let's see, I'm going to say 100 millimeters wide and long. What did I just do? That's insane. Okay. There we go. Shoot. Place that down. Next part's pretty easy. You just slide it over. So that it covers up 
the screw, just like that. Okay. And we're going to go to the uh, merge tool. We're going to click on subtract. Subtract. So select subtract. Click on the outside box, and then the inside, and then the inside uh, screw. Click it, and now you have your threaded hole. So I'm going to bring the camera inside, and you can see all those little threads. You can make them wider by making the distance between the sketches right at the very beginning slightly further apart, and that is how you make the uh, threads wider to compensate for different screw sizes. So, yeah. So yeah, that's how you make a screw. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe and come back next week for another video. Bye.